Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be love messages for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, we're going to take a look at your current situation and the energies in and around it. Now this can be if you're single, if you're in separation, or um, um, if you guys are in union. So while I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. All right, guys, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Geminis. Messages for Gemini, please. Love and romance messages for Geminis. All right, so you have the Ten of Swords. So some of my Geminis, you guys have experienced some sort of difficult ending, separation, divorce, um, some sort of loss. Um, but again, this could just be something that you are, you know, that you're dealing with or that you've been carrying around with you. All right, in your surroundings, we have the Four of Cups or the Four of Shells. Um, so there may be somebody who's going to be reaching out to you guys. Remember, we do have Mercury retrograde, so this could be somebody who's opening up to you. Um, and what's blocking you is the Hierophant. So we have Taurus energy. So Gemini, there could be, um, you know, this is about traditions, beliefs, and behaviors. Um, there could be that there are significant differences between you and this person. Um, there could be that some, somebody's in a marriage or in a connection or has an, has like a contractual obligation to someone or something that may be holding you back. Again, that can be work or that can be another connection. Um, at the bottom, why this is all going down, you guys have the two of wands. Okay, so some of you guys, you could be dealing with a twin flame here. Um, but there is an important decision to be made. In your recent past, you have the Nine of Cups. So this is wish fulfillment. Okay, so I can see why this has impacted you in such a such a big way, Gemini, because it feels like this person or this relationship, whatever that came to an ending here, was kind of everything that you, you know, you dreamed of. Um, we get the Five of Wands coming in from above, so some sort of competition or some sort of difficulties here. Remember, challenges happen to us, not for, uh, happen for us, not to us. All right, and your outcome energy, we have the hanged man in reverse. So seeing things differently. Some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces here, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but it also could be somebody who's been silent, maybe reaching out to you and giving you a message. Because I do get that in your surroundings. Somebody like wants to reunite or wants to ask you out for drinks. Um, you know, it could be somebody too that has had an eye on you and they've just sort of been watching and waiting for you to come out of a, of a commitment. All right. But the overall energy, we have the Queen of Wands. So this is your energy, Gemini. This is a powerful and magnetic, seductive quality that's around you. Yeah. And I definitely feel like you have a lot of options with those five of roses of coming in from above. You may have a lot of options to choose from. For some of you, it might seem a little bit too soon because I do see that you're sort of struggling here with this Ten of Swords, some sort of ending or some sort of difficulty. So let's go ahead and clarify. I'm not going to clarify all of the cards, but I do want to see what is this Four of Shells in reverse or this Four of Cups in reverse. And this is Moon in Cancer. So we do have a new Moon in Cancer coming up. So it may be around this time when this person reaches out or somebody asks you out on a date. Okay, or somebody reaches out. All right, so we've got the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, some of you guys, this could be somebody you work with or somebody that you've been in a long-term commitment with or you put a lot of effort into um, this connection. So it could be somebody coming back, somebody that you're separated from. Um, what I'm seeing here is this person, they absolutely need to reach out to you, Gemini. They need to say something to you. Um, either they're watching you go through a divorce or separation or you're you're separated from this person. Um, but um, now that they, I feel like they've been holding back their emotions, um, how they truly feel. And I feel like they do, they're going to, they're good. There's going to be some sort of emotional, um, I don't know, some sort of emotional disclosure that sounds so clinical, but I feel like this person has been holding back for quite some time. Um, this could be somebody who, again, like somebody you've been in a connection with or somebody who's been watching you go through some sort of separation or some sort of difficulty. 
Um, they, I think they, they were feeling quite trapped by their own emotions and because they hadn't told you anything. So it's almost like, it's like they need to get this off their chest. That's the energy I'm getting. So you're, what's blocking this connection or blocking you at this moment is the Hierophant. So again, for some of you, you know, you, you have been in a connection. Maybe things couldn't take off with this person because you were, you know, you were in a higher level of commitment or it could be a work issue. Um, it could also, it could be this person as well. Like they might be freeing themselves up and they really just need to reach out to you, tell you how they feel. They could also, they need to come clean about something, something they did or they said or their true feelings for you. But this Hierophant energy is blocking you. This is somebody who's coming back around. They really want to open up and they want a higher level of commitment. So for some of you guys, this is like a rekindling of a past marriage or relationship. Um, this person, they want to come back around. They want to open up. They want to work things out. They're going to come in. They want something serious with you, Gemini. And it's maybe this is something, you know, somebody from the past, or maybe there's just like maybe a little bit of an energy of it being too soon. So that might be sort of holding you back. Like, do you want to jump into an, another high level of commitment? Because it's not going to be something casual with this person. All right. That's what I'm getting. So you get the two of wands here, Gemini. So you're at a crossroads. It's a difficult decision to make. We get the moon in reverse, the princess of cups and the nine of cups. Lots of water energy. So some of you could be Gemini, Cancer, Cusp. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Strong Cancer and Pisces energy coming out. But what I'm seeing here is for some of you guys, again, this is your wish fulfillment. This person was your wish fulfillment, okay? Again, it might be a past person. Um, but I think some of you guys, you're at a crossroads, um, because you want to make sure that you're seeing things clearly, okay? That you're not looking at the situation through rose-colored glasses or you're not jumping from one relationship to the next. You know, I think you want to give yourself some time to recalibrate to see what's going on here. Um, some of you, you may question the sincerity of this person because, again, if you've been through a separation or a divorce with this person or you guys have been, you haven't been talking or whatever it might be, there's something here you're not so sure. You might be just wanting to give yourself some time to take it slow because it, it almost seems too good to be true is what I'm getting, Gemini. All right, so you just want to sort of take your time and make sure that like everything is exactly the way it seems. Um, but I love this because you have two nine of cups energy, Jupiter and Pisces. We do have Jupiter is going to be retrograding in Pisces soon. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, but in your recent past, you had this wish fulfillment. So what is this all about? Yeah. Okay. So for some of you guys, um, this is something that you really wanted to start with somebody. You saw a lot of potential. Um, this is something that you even nurtured and you were expecting it to grow, but there was some sort of heartache or disappointment. So I can definitely see Gemini, why you may be hesitant if this is a past person. And for some of you guys, it's going to be a new person, but you're just hesitant because I feel like you've had your heart broken a lot in the past, or you've been in a lot of situations where, you know, things didn't work out. Okay. So spirit is saying that it's important that you do sort of go within, take your time, but also purge and release this negative imprinting. Okay. Because it may be holding you back from, you know, from true love. Um, you know, and so with that queen of wands energy, this queen of roses, it's time to sort of step up because you do have this magnetic and seductive quality about you, but then also do it in your own timing, Gemini. Okay, so don't be, don't feel rushed into it or feel like you have to make a decision. And I do see that you're sort of, you're of two minds. Because again, some of you guys have just gone through a difficult breakup or separation or because of what's happened between you and this person in the past. All right, so you see the five of wands clarified by the queen of cups, the two of swords. Wow, for some of you guys... Yeah, you guys, some of you guys, you might be trying to decide between a soulmate and a twin flame. Okay, you might have two people to choose from, I'm getting. Again, we have Gemini and we also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you might be, you know, you might be just, you're trying to make up your mind. You know, do you go with your heart or do you go with your mind? Um, the lover's card tells me here that there is a lot of love um, that you have for this person. Um, that for some of you, there is a choice between two people, okay? And that's what's sort of this, these two warring factions within. What do I choose? Who do I choose? Which direction do I move in? Um, yeah, for some of you guys, it's a soulmate and it's like a twin flame. It could be this romantic rival and you're, you know, who you feel like is your, 
is your divine counterpart, but there's something here, there's some sort of disappointment in your past that's really making you think twice, or some of my Geminis out there, you're just not feeling completely ready. All right, so I do feel like there is some sort of clarity coming to you. You are gonna be seeing the situation a lot differently. I just, I feel like there's such a magnetic and seductive quality to you at this point in time, Gemini. Yeah, so overall energy, the Ten of Swords in reverse. So there is a difficult period coming to an end. There is some healing and some patience needed, all right, because I do see that, you know, you've put a lot of time and effort into this connection or into your own healing, so you're not going to want to rush this, and I definitely pick up on this energy um, all throughout your reading. Somebody's coming back in though, Gemini, is what I'm seeing. Somebody you have unfinished business with. I feel like they're building up all of their courage and their strength to reach out. This is somebody who could have walked away from you or ghosted you or you're on a break from. But I also feel like, you know, you're going to be seeing things a lot differently. Whatever decision that you decide to make because you've been doing all of this healing work, Gemini. All right, so for some of you guys, you definitely have a choice here in love. Um, it's either between two people. And then for some of you guys, you're not sure if you want to go back down this route with this person. All right, so um, let's go ahead and see. And some of you guys, you're going to reject this person um, because there's too much distance or they waited too long. You don't have a lot of confidence in this connection and you're just going to focus on you. Okay, that's not going to be for all of you. All right, because for some of you guys, yes, there is this ending and I see this rekindling here as well. So let's see what other messages come through for my Geminis. We have true love. So this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. That just made me really smile. But for some of you guys, you're going to decide to take a break or not move forward because you and this person, you don't share the same vision. But I also feel like this is in your past position. Okay, so I do feel like this person is leveling up or they're coming towards you to tell you, hey, you know, I've had some time to think about this. You know, I've experienced some karma. Yeah, as I'm saying that, we get the mastery card. They've learned the spiritual lesson and that's why they want to come back towards you. Yeah, and they want it now. Your true love is already a part of your life. So for many of you guys, this is a past person coming back in and you're just going to be a little bit unsteady, a little bit unsure. Okay, and we get longing. They're absolutely secretly yearning for you, Gemini. And this is somebody from your past. For many of you guys, um, you know, if it's not somebody from your past, if you're absolutely not entertaining an ex, um, this is absolutely a past life connection that's very, very strong. All right, so let's go ahead and see what other messages come through. For my dear Gemini, so I want a relationship with you, okay? Yeah, this is somebody who really, I feel like they want you back. You inspire me to heal and grow. If you guys are dealing with like a strong soul connection or a twin flame Gemini, um, you know, remember that you guys are so connected at a deep level that the breakthroughs and the healing that you've been doing, because I see that you've been doing a lot of healing work, is also affecting this person, okay? And then we get in about three weeks, all right, interesting. So they might be reaching out. Um, you might be having this conversation. Ego, pride, and fear, sabotage. Okay, so again, this may be something that you need to take a look at here, but again, this could be something that came in between you guys, okay, that caused this ending or this rift or this separation. All right, so karma is definitely sort of being balanced out. There was a karmic lesson, and this person wants to tell you that they care about you so much. You, They also have a lot of intense lust for you, um, and you are driving them crazy. Gemini. All right, let's see what else they would say to you. What would they say to you if they could? Oops. What would they say to you if they could? Um, I'm ready to take my mask off and be real with you. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I do feel like in the past, you guys, this ego fear and uh, ego pride and fear sabotage led to this disappointment. And they could have even chosen somebody else over you or there was some sort of third party situation. It's almost like this may be something that didn't even really get off the ground that had a lot of potential. All right, and then we get we belong together. Yeah, this person's going through having a major awakening here, you guys. And then everything will be all right. Please trust me. All right, Gemini, those are your messages. Um, I hope you found strength, clarity, and guidance in these messages, sending you lots of love and light. Take care.